hello scorpio welcome to your next 24 hour so we're going to dive into the next 24 and see what the angels want to reveal for you so if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt but if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have your playlist linked below in the description box of course um for those of you who are looking for a personal reading everything is in the bio all my prices that I do have available and also the contact information as well to get in touch with me, okay? All right, so let's see what we have for the next 24. Wow, new beginning manifestation. A lot of you are in your power right now. Taking back your power, this is what I'm seeing here. I just can't pass this up. This is happening very quickly for you guys. I feel like a lot of you were in some form of connection or still is for some of you that are separated something is coming back here a new beginning this person is very you know into you um physically the flames are set this is what i'm seeing here so let's see what we have for the next 24 for scorpio thank you holy spirit Scorpio's energy next 24. Next 24. For Scorpio. Thank you. I keep seeing that ace of um look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there is going to be a new beginning very, very quickly for you in the next 24 tell me about this please for scorpio holy spirit look at this a past energy is returning i'm just gonna turn these up here so a past energy is returning i'm hearing that you need to have faith within the situation okay yeah they're going to ask for a second chance okay in the next 24 hours they're just like watching your progress and seeing how you're looking too. A lot of you are solo or sing single. This is what I'm seeing here. And the Nine of Pentacles. And I'm seeing like you and this person have a lot of love. You know, this is something that I just had with your 12 hours. But now it's like it's in reverse. So it's like something changed within this energy where you took back your power. And that's where we started, right? We saw the Ace of Wands and we saw the Gemini energy, right? Where it's like you're manifesting, you're praying, you're hoping, you're taking back this power and you're making whatever you want to appear in your life at the moment. Like this is your energy so powerful. Like things are shifting for you. Scorpio okay so you have unfinished business here a lot of you are scared to see this person or to talk to this person you don't have any more strength within you you feel like you know this has been happening for so long there's like this is a distraction you feel exhausted but there's going to be communication this person is coming in very strong asking for another chance they want to work on this family situation this family dynamic is there some kind of money involved? I'm seeing like maybe when they were with you, they were more stable financially because the way they're looking at you is the Nine of Pentacles, you know, very um, stable financially and mentally stable, financially free here. And look at the Ten of Pentacles too. It's like a lot of Pentacles here. <sighs> wow. It's something to do with... um your home too like look at this gate like you're there at this door <laughs> trying to get in wow the moon is trying to appear okay so let's see here We have the justice in reverse. We also have the two of swords energy. We have this page of pentacles energy. 
the king of wands energy and also the lovers energy Ooh, in reverse so a lot of you could be twin flame energy this is what i'm ooh, or soulmate energy so i'm getting two different energy you see that omg so let's see what we have here <laughs> i mean clearly i mean this person is in a bind two of swords i should just know it like they had some kind of decision that they need to make here so this person has been lying to you this is what i'm seeing here this person has a decision to make i feel like they have been holding off on this and even now that they have whatever they need to make this decision they're still holding off on this this person is still slow with this page of pentacles but they're trying to give back something to you but at the same time i'm seeing some kind of fear here look at this the king of wands some kind of immaturity that's happening here with this king of wands like this person is making mistakes with this energy there is a relationship that is coming up. This is also Gemini energy in reverse. So they could be with a Gemini or this could be you, Scorpio, because you could have Gemini placements. It depends how you met this person. This is a temptation. They made a mistake. This is what they're saying. I don't know who you are because you could be the water-based energy as well. So... <sighs> This is another person that they're in separation with. So with this situation here, clearly they're telling me that they have made a mistake. They have made, <laughs> they made a decision to go here within these two energies, two different energies, and now they're in separation with both. Um, one is showing up like a soulmate situation here or a marriage, okay? There's a contract with the Six of Cups. <sighs> Past life situation. The Ten of Pentacles is also shown up there. And it's like either one could be whoever they're married to. But they're looking at this person as someone that they're tied to. Someone that is basically their one. They made vows. They're in love this mutual feelings here there's a lot of passion and at this at this relationship at this core first it start with temptation and then it kind of blend into love okay with this lovers in reverse so place where you are okay Gem i mean oh my god i said gem scorpio don't kill me don't kill me you know, I do this every day, so. <laughs> Don't kill me if I call ya gem sometimes, okay? Period. You can have gem, Gemini placements, like I said. But I don't know who you are here, Scorpios. I don't know. Temperance is also showing up. I'm seeing Libra energy, Leo energy, Gemini energy. Aries energy, Libra energy again. So the fine timing is at play here. I'm also seeing like this is going to take time. The final decision. Look at all your, look at your both angels. Oh my God. Your angels are showing up. Hello. My phone is going dark. Your angels are showing up for you. Look at that judgment, temperance. Oh hell. Healing. There is healing that's necessary. This needs time. I'm hearing don't rush anything. I'm seeing like a huge conversation happening between you and this person. This person is pleading for another chance. You can be the lovers here, Scorps. Because the way this is all... No, see? Oh, no. See, I don't know because the way this is, it's like the two of cups is with the family, with the home. The Ten of Pentacles. So this person clearly was married. But I feel like they're falling for this lover's energy. Because they're both. They're all. But I the, the crazy thing about this is like. 
the ten of the ten of pentacles is not showing up in reverse like this person wants to end this situation and be with you or whatever you guys are this person wants to stay they're indecisive. They know they have to make a decision. This is out of control. But at the same time, with the next 24 hours, they're still like not trying to make that decision. Thank you. Tell me more. Holy Spirit. Okay. I'm trying not to. There's no balance in this energy. There's no change. This person is a flake. <laughs> By just looking at the King of Wands energy, which is such a good card in the upright, but this person, look at that, the Chariot is also showing up here. So they're being, okay, something is off in this. I feel like this person live in both lives, like, because this energy is like, they're coming up as it was like lies, deceit, betrayal. But at the same time, this person has some money or some kind of responsibility. This could also be a child. This could be an ex-husband, um, an ex-wife, an ex-partnership. But at the same time, they're still doing something here. There's a lot of like coldness and embarrassment here. A lot of friction. A lot of toxic traits, toxic behavior between both. I'm also seeing that this energy, the lovers in reverse, it's like they're trying to come home to that. So, Scorpios, I don't know. It's like the way it's lined up, it's crazy. Okay. All right. So, on the in the future, on the back of the cards, we have the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords. It's going to be a lot of healing here. It's like you're noticing what's going on with this person. Like you're realizing that they're not which they appear to be. They they want to be in control, especially of you and especially with their um, lives. They don't want to be, you know. I feel like they don't want you to be in control of them, but they want to be in control of you. They want to be able to make all the decision, be the provider. But the way what they did here. They look like they lost. They lost their way because what they did here in the King of Wands, this is basically the Emperor energy in reverse. It's like they feel like they have lost everything. Nothing ever came to them. They're always blaming other people and they're not even better in themselves. It's also this person has confident issues just as in the Empress energy. Empress, Emperor energy, girl. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person was married before. There's going to be a shift. <sighs> Lord, this person is a cheater, you guys. Look at this. And a lot of you are like, damn, this is, um, <laughs> this is someone that is a user, too. But this is what I have. I'm going to leave it here, okay? So if this resonates for the next 24, go ahead and like this video on the channel. I'm seeing Virgo. I'm seeing Taurus. Aries again. Aries is coming up in the Justice. Also Libra. Sag energy. Libra again. Yeah, this is kind of a horrible connection. Not kind of is, but this is what I have for you and I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.